killing a lamb before the start of any event is considered auspicious in India. So, we request our guests of honor to light the lamp and mark the beginning of this amazing event. We now request Georgina to welcome the gathering. Hello all. Uh, I'm really overwhelmed by the uh, presence of so many people over here. Uh, first of all, thank you so much Deborah ma'am. Uh, for being here, uh, being a part of our biggest celebration uh, for the year. Uh, we, we are really uh, glad that you are here as the Chief Guest today. Uh, Justin, I'm really, really happy that you could make it here today. Uh, we miss Ben, but we are super glad that you, you could come and attend this event. Anuji, I do not have to <laughs> talk about you. You have been the uh, support and backbone throughout the planning of the event and throughout uh, ISA's functioning uh, this year. So, yeah, without you, this is not complete. So, thank you for being here. We, we have worked almost three months to put this show in place and uh, have tried to bring a lot of new elements into, uh, into the show. I really hope all of you here today enjoy the show and thanks again for coming. Next, we request Justin to say a few words. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here uh, this evening. I know it means the world to Indian Student Association. Uh, this is one of the groups that makes us smile the most at International Student Life. Um, we're a department that is here to internationalize the campus experience and Indian Student Association through great events like this help bring culture and different perspective to UGA's campus. So on behalf of International Student Life, welcome. Thank you for taking this time out on your Saturday evening and best of luck to the Indian Student Association. Now we request Anuji to speak something. Hello everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I thought I will wake you up. Uh, good evening everyone and welcome again to Share Night, India Night 2018. I am highly privileged to have been associated with the Indian Student Association at UGA off and on for almost 25 years. Or, and, and it is an association that I will always cherish. And in this process, I have made scores of young friends who are pursuing careers and leading happy family lives all over this nation. To say the least, it has been an awesome journey now coming back to tonight's event, this group of students is definitely one of the best that I have worked with. They are smart, hardworking, and extremely talented, as you will see very soon. They have just won two prestigious ISL awards, International Student Life Office Awards. The first one is for outstanding advertisement and promotion, and of course, the entire committee has to work to get these kinds of awards, but I personally like to give credit to Georgina for her leadership. <laughs> to Shivani for her, I think, brilliant writing. Shivani. <laughs> and our little talk genius, Aditya Sankar. For his creative design skills. And the second award that we won, actually she won, is the Outstanding Graduate Student Award. And I think that speaks highly. Of 
And that is a, that is a university-wide award, so it's not a small thing. And believe me, if this ethnic night, Indian night, was held a few weeks ago, it would probably be a very strong contender for the best ethnic night, correct? <laughs> so sorry about that, but uh, we'll try next time. We have, just as a trivia, we, uh, Indian Student Association won the Best Ethnic Night Award back in 2009. And believe it or not, the president of ISA, Vijay Virgatam, is here tonight from Chicago. So, so Vijay, we were not able to beat your record just because of the timing issue. So we, we came close. And this year marks the conclusion of my role as ISA advisor. But I'm not, I'm not going away or anything. But I'm leaving after some very special relationships have been formed with this young group uh, of students. Tonight we will hand over the affairs of ISA to a new committee with our old professor, Puneet Dewani, as the advisor. He's, he's going to do a great job, I'm sure. Uh, so I sincerely want to wish you all the best. Uh, speeding up, I also want to take this opportunity, like always, to thank our sponsors, the Greater Athens Indian Community, and all the Friends of India for your commitment, your continued support to IC throughout the years. I would now like to welcome tonight's chief guest, Representative Deborah Gonzalez, who is accompanied by her better, sorry, lesser half, <laughs> Bob Scott, who is also the Associate Vice President for Research at UGA. Deborah is not only an extremely dear, personal, whatever you may want to call it, friend, but she's also a longtime friend of India and helped us with uh, several events to do with India in the past. Uh, if you wonder where she got this dress from, you will see her interview in a few days on TV Asia. And that's where she tells you how she got that dress. Deborah's made a trip to India already. It was a short one, but now we'll take you again back there, so we'll do a better one next time. So with that, let's welcome her again with a big round of applause as I request her to see a few words tonight. Thank you. Good evening. Nine years ago, I stepped onto a stage for India Night. It was 2009, and I had just been introduced to the India community in Athens by Anuj and another friend of ours, Utio Rechadur. On that night, I needed to wear a dress. <laughs> And the graduate students very sweetly took me to the Global Mall. <laughs> and they said, we will get you dressed, don't worry. And the first time that I wore sari, Sunita Singh actually came to the room and helped wrap it around me. But she gave me one tip. Make sure that when the woman makes my blouse, that she sews the pleats at the same time. And it was a way that I then did not have to fold them. <laughs> All these little secrets that we learn. But the biggest secret that I learned back in 2009, as well as tonight, and to come back and see so many friends who have now grown up, graduated, have families of their own, is how welcomed I have always felt by this community. And how wonderful it has been both in visiting India, your country, and then coming and being part of this community here. As I do my work as your state representative, it is so important that I remember every day that I take that warm welcome that you've given me to the capital 
so that I can represent diversity in a way that they have not seen in years. Because when we are there and we have a voice, then it is important that we can truly pursue the democracy and the vision of not just Gandhi and Martin Luther King, but also Malarkey Sellers, who when he gave his lecture at UGA a week and a half ago, he asked three questions. One, how far have we come? Where do we go next? And does any of it matter? And I think when we celebrate a night like tonight with our graduate students celebrating this culture, we know that we've come far, but we still have more to go. We know that where we go next is where they will take us. And does it all matter? Every single day. Thank you.